I'm Nick, and we're making a school bus. And uh, we modified ours compared to the measurements in the packet. But in the packet, the height of this little front part is one and one eighth inch. As you can see, ours different. So you will be telling you both measurements, ours and the packets. But and then the rest, one eighth inch, one and one eighth inch. The whole back is two and a fourth inch. It'll be just about the top part from here to here is four and one fourth of an inch. Uh, this little square here is one inch, and the bottom is five and one fourth of an inch. And then the windows in this are way different than ours. They're eleven sixteenths of an inch, and they're all one inch apart from the center. But we did ours one inch in diameter each. So those are the measurements. Let's start. James, taking the radio cut on the wind school bus. And first of all, you want to keep your hand four inches away from the blades, cut off fingers, and then you have to line it up, and then you kind of try to factor in the eighth inch of the blade. So, there you go. I'm Dylan and I'm using the bandsaw here to cut the front of the bus corner. Uh, we have, we're supposed to have this one eighth of an inch above the wood, but we can't do that because our fence gets in the way. So we're going to go ahead and do it with a little bit more than you're supposed to. So you got to make sure you keep your hands four inches away from the blade at all times, and that's why we got the push stick here. All right, here we go. To drill the window holes. As you can see, we have them marked and we have a one inch spade bit. That's way bigger than what you should be using, but just refer to the packet. Your guard should always be down and truck key to make sure that your bit is in tight. And we lined up our drill with the stopper and the table so that the end of the bit will barely go through the wood. And you'll see why in a minute. So let's start. Ready? Let's line this up first, make sure. Always line it up. Uh, perfect. <laughs> you only get the end of the bit to go through is so you get a little hole so you don't get tear out. And I'll show what you do is you use that little hole and you line your drill up so it hits that hole perfectly and then you just drill through line it up better because I moved it and then you just drill through that little bit Once you got the table lined up, you use a 5 16 inch drill bit to drill the hole for the dowels. Make sure your fingers are 4 inches away from the drill. This time you're going all the way through.
Now we're going to use the bigger bell sandal sander to... Sandal. Hello, we're going to use the big belt sander to take the corners off and smooth out the uh, sides and uh, make it so that it looks nice. So we, uh, Skip, we showed you the gist of it, but look at those corners. Nice and rounded off. And each edge is now sanded now down. Now we're running through the joiner to get through out any of the tear out on the edges. sand it by hand using 120 grit garnet sandpaper on a block. Get in there. You're gonna get all your edges. Just smoothing it out before finishing. Exciting, I know. And now it's ready to finish. Step of our project, we are applying vegetable oil with a rag or wiping cloth. Sorry for the noise. I'm trying to be serious. Say words, James. <coughs> okay. See the difference once the uh, oil is <laughs> applied. <laughs> this is after the oil is applied. That is before. Changes the color. On camera, but it looks good. Yes, it's a dramatic change. Very shiny. Dramatic change. Shiny, shiny. Helps if you do it a little quicker, but James is a little slow. So. I'm being thorough. Oh, it's real thorough. <laughs> And we are 
it on. And I'm sawing through a dowel. How long is the dowel, Captain? Two inches. Okay. Lottie freaking dog. Now the last step of making your wooden school bus is to put on the wheels, which is as simple as uh, this. And now you have a finished product. It's filming.